so I'm going to be uh, trying to log into my TrendNet router uh, to show you how to change the wireless SSID or wireless password. By default, when you get this router, I believe uh, wireless is on, but there's no security set onto it. So the very first thing is you should log on to your uh, router. If you're not sure what the IP address is, I'm going to go through the steps. Usually I type CMD to go to command prompt. This is for Windows 7. And I go IP config. I'm going to have to scroll up because it has all this jargon. And so here's my Ethernet adapter. I have it hooked up to my wired LAN and so it says that my IP address is over here 192.168.10.102 and so I guess the typical router address is 192.168.10.1 so that you will need to enter that in to get into the router so I go one 192.168.10.1 Okay, it takes me to the authentication for TrendNet. So, the username is just admin, A-D-M-I-N. I believe the password is the same thing, A-D-M-I-N. You can change this later. So when we get onto here, it has all default settings. So the only thing I'm going to be showing you here is to change your wireless stuff. So it'll be over here on your far left, click on wireless. And then by default it's already enabled, but you can change the name to something else. And when you're done, you type something else. Like let's say testing. You would just click apply and we would save those changes. So I'll show you how long it takes for it to apply. So our new SSID will be apply. The device is restarting. And I can just click back. And it says it's not working. I can keep on refreshing until I get the page. So it takes about 15 seconds. So now the SSID has been changed. So this is the thing that gets broadcasted. When people are looking for your internet, so it'll say testing. The last thing I wanted to go is under security. By default, the router's security is probably disabled. It'll be like this when you get to it. So you want to set it to WPA or WPA2 or WPA Auto. I usually just use WPA because just in case someone's using an older device. And PSK TKIP is perfectly fine, those default ones. And your passphrase, just put a new passphrase in. Hopefully it's like it has to be like 10, di 10 digits or something, so just put in a new passphrase. I'm just going to use like all ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I click apply. So remember to get into that menu to change the pass passphrase on your wireless. It was wireless and then security. So again, it takes like 15 seconds for it to restart the device. One, two, three, four, five. And you can kind of see it over here where it's thinking, trying to get the information from the router. And finally, it connects. So now I'm going to I can connect wirelessly if I wanted to. And you'll see that I have testing over here. It can connect. It'll ask me 
me for the password. I won't hide the keys. I'll press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Click OK. And it's connected. Usually it's a home network, so I just click home network. Close, and that's it. That's how you change your wireless SSID and wireless password. So remember, you go into wireless, and basic was for changing the SSID. Security over here is for changing the security password. Have a good day.